Yeah. 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 Uh. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. So tell me, girl, I'm on the way. So I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. So tell me, girl, I'm on the way. So I'm on the way. Yeah. You ain't gotta say shit. She went down, down, down. Yeah. So you ain't gotta say shit. Yeah. Say. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way, she tell me girl I'm on the way, I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way, tell her girl I'm on the way, she I'm on the way, yeah. Don't know matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah. I'm on the way, yeah. Had a conversation with Shorty, never met before, damn she looking good. Damn, she she had a homegirl with her, but conversation led to another one. No, I'm talking to both like them, I don't really know who to choose, what's up though? What's up? Niggas all on them trips. We be spending up them chips, yeah. pulling up in them whips. Yeah. Late nights we would dip. Yeah. Yeah. You know we was rocking, we turned up all turned night. Yeah. night yeah. Scratches on my back, ain't no cushions ass. Yeah. Every time she around, it's going down. Yeah. We all in the hotel room, scratches on my back, man. We on the wall. Niggas call downstairs like man, this noise can't take too much more. Give it to me one time, one time. One time, one time. I'm about to beat it up. Just Open the list so I can eat it up. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. She tell me, girl, I'm on the way. She I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. She tell me, girl, I'm on the way. She I'm on the way. Yeah. You ain't gotta say shit. She went down, down, down. Yeah. You ain't gotta say shit. Yeah. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. She tell me, girl, I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way, tell it girl I'm on the way, shit I'm on the way, yeah. Don't know matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah. I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Water whipping with the diamonds, goddamn it, you know that she shining. Know that she yelling the shit and I was just trying to hit her up with perfect time. Damn, I know she want to live again, she was all on the live again. Shit, she so live again. Jump up on the pole, do it real quick, make a couple dollars in. Girl, I know you been on this shit, girl. Time, time, time. And I know this thing happened all over your mind, mind, mind. We finna get it in, yeah. This is her favorite song, her and a friend, yeah. Matter of fact, y'all both can go open that door, y'all can come in, yeah. Me and my niggas, we got a hundred thousand wrapped in rubber bands, thrown it up. Couple of bitches checking us out, shit. You know we don't give a fuck. I need another one, purple and double cars, shit. I need another one, tell them to pull it up. Cause I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell me girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell me girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah You ain't gotta say shit, uh, down, 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 yeah Say you ain't gotta say shit, yeah, say I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell it girl I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Tell it girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah Don't know matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah I'm on the way, yeah. Mm. Getting silly now, screaming while she riding be my favorite sound. <laughs> Slow. What up? What up? What up, people? Welcome to another sports podcast stream. Dope content, sports. <sighs> I'm trying to keep my voice together today. I did a lot of yelling at the Cowboys game yesterday. I then turned around and did a podcast, three, three plus hour podcast right after it. So, uh, if my voice sounds a little funny, that's what it is today. <laughs> plus, I've been here dealing with, you know, people getting sick in the house and trying to get me sick. I ain't gonna say try to get me sick. I'm just playing. She'd get mad if I say that. But yeah, I think she's feeling better now. And now I'm starting to catch whatever sickness it, it was. Still waiting on COVID test results, so we don't know what it is. But we are here, man. So 
D well, what's good? I'm so irritated this morning. I didn't do no fancy highlights or nothing for this podcast. <laughs> We're just gonna get straight into it. Um, because that's that's the mood I'm in right now. That's the mood I'm in right now. So before we do, um, shout out to Rogue Energy, shout out to MLO Shoes, shout out to Voice Mind, and shout out to Team Xbox. <laughs> Okay, I'm just making sure my sound was still on. You sometimes you mess with the settings, you know, and mess up. But shout out to these uh, brands for working with dope content. Rogue Energy, man, make sure you go to rogueenergy.com. Use promo code DOPE. That'll give you discounts on all Rogue Energy products. You get uh, all type of energy drinks, man. You get you even get protein shakes there, man. You get backpacks, you get shirts, you get the little shakers, you get cups, the refrigerators. So Rogue Energy has a lot that you can get on their site. And you can also test it out for free just to see if you like it. So shout out to Rogue Energy. The MLO Shoes, man. MLO Shoes, shout out to them as well. You can also go to their website. Or you can click the link in the chat and if you're on Twitch. Because uh, Stream Elements will be putting the... I'm sorry. Stream Elements will be putting the chat, the links up for these brands in the chat. So you can check out MLO Shoes as well. Use the, my promo code that's there as well. You get discounts on that. Very comfortable shoes. They're not made for hooping. I know they look like hooping shoes, but they're not made for hooping. They're made for walking around, being comfortable. Like, say you went to the Cowboys game yesterday. You know you're going to walk for about a good hour before you get to your seats. That was, that's what those shoes are made for. And, you know, it's a style. It's a style, man. They got, they got some nice shoes, so check them out. Check out Voice Mod as well, man. Like I say, it's a lot you can do with Voice Mod. If you're a streamer, podcaster, video editor, and you want to just add look effects to your vocals or you want to add sound effects to your stream and your video, all you got to do is hit a Voice Mod and use my promo code if you want to buy a monthly subscription. Or you can use all the free sounds they have. Like, this is a free sound. Wow, what it is, sound like a baby. Hey, what it do, what it do, what it do. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Voice Mod as well, man. And of course, shout out to Xbox. Y'all know what it is. I am officially <clears throat> almost telling you I'm congested, bro. I am officially a Xbox brand ambassador. So shout out to them. You know what it is. Wow. So there it is, man. I had to get it, give a shout out to all the brands before we get started, man. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste no time today. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into the NFL wild card. Shout out to the NFL playoffs kicking off this weekend. And we're gonna get right into the scores, man. The Bengals take out the Raiders 26-19. Very good game. The Raiders, man, um, they got screwed on one play where Joe Burrow was running towards the sideline. The ref thought he stepped out of bounds, and <laughs> he blew the whistle. So the rule by, if the ref blow the whistle, the play is dead, no matter what happened, no matter if the ref made a mistake or not. Blew the whistle, Joe Burrow throws the ball in his own, touchdown Cincinnati, all the Raiders players are looking like, yo, you blew the whistle. They let the touchdown stand anyway, so the Raiders get screwed. But shout out to the Bengals for winning their first playoff game, man. Shout out to them. <laughs> Joe Burrow did his thing, man. Like, him and Jamar Chase, it's just, they went from LSU to the NFL like it was nothing. It was like it was nothing, man. Jamar Chase with nine catches, 116 yards, man. Dude balled out. Derrick Carr had a decent game. 29-54, 310 yards, one touchdown. So, you know, respect to both teams, man. It was good to see the Bengals and the Raiders. These teams have been through it. These fans, these fan bases have been through it for years. So, it was good to see them in the playoff game. You know, shout out to the Bengals for winning. And the Raiders, hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, 
Bills and the Patriots, man. Bills take out the Patriots 47 to 17. Bruh, I think it's safe to say that Buffalo is still pissed off by that Monday night football game from earlier in the season. <laughs> the last two matchups they had with the Patriots, they just destroyed them. 47-17, man. I, I did not see this coming. Honestly, I thought Belichick was going to have that defense ready. It was in cold weather. You know, that's what Belichick does. Um, but, yeah, Bills, like, man, I'm, I'm sick of the Patriots. So, Bills take them out. Josh Allen, ball, 21-25, 308 yards, five touchdowns for Josh Allen. So, uh, man, shout out to Josh Allen. Shout out, shout out to the Bills, man. Much respect to them. That boy Josh Allen did the fool, man. Singletary had 81 yards, two touchdowns. Knox had uh, 89 yards, two touchdowns. Tight end for Buffalo. Now, moving right along, we had Philadelphia get blown. Well, it's, it looked like a blowout, but Philly scored 15 in the fourth to make it look better than what it was. But they really got dominated the whole game. They lose to the Bucks, 31 to 15. <laughs> And then all these Philly fans talking noise. It's like, did y'all see what happened to y'all earlier in, in the day? But, you know, whatever. Tom Brady, 29-37, 271 yards, two touchdowns. You would think 271 yards is nothing, but when you get two touchdowns out of it, you're good. Mike Evans, nine catches, 117 yards, one touchdown. Jalen Hurts, man, I'm a Jalen Hurts fan. Um, he just wasn't seeing the field. Like, he was missing a couple of open guys right running crosses right in front of him, and he just wasn't seeing them for whatever reason. But, you know, I won't come down too hard on Jalen Hurts. I'm a Jalen Hurts fan, and um, that was his first playoff game, and he in Tampa going up against the champs. But uh, they got to make some moves in Philly. They got a couple of good draft picks. You know, I think they have two in the first round. It's either them or the Giants. I know one of them – have two top picks, top 10, top 15 picks in the draft. So we'll see what happened with that. Uh, it might be the Giants that I'm thinking of. But anyway, uh, let's skip that one because we go we go dive into the 49ers and Cowboys. But the Chiefs take out the Steelers. Bye-bye being Roethlisberger. <laughs> Get up out of there. 42 to 21. Um, I mean, did anybody pick the Steelers to win this game? Did anybody pick the Steelers? I know I didn't. So, uh, Pat Mahomes, 30 for 39, 404 yards, five touchdowns. Travis Kelsey, man, showing you that he's still a beast. Five catches, 108 yards, one touchdown. So, shout out to Kansas City. <laughs> trying to clear my throat. Uh, so, if I sound funny, like I said, man, it is what it is today. That's why I'm trying to go ahead and get through it. Uh, and then here we are, man. The freaking 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys, man. 49ers take out the Cowboys 23-17. to 17. And as a Cowboy fan, you know I am pissed. That's why. That's part of the reason why my voice is gone and sound like it sounds now. Uh, let's, let's get into the numbers of the Cowboys. Let me make sure y'all can see it on the stream first before I just start talking. And rambling. So again, 23-17, 49ers win. It's always some crazy stuff that happens when the Cowboys play in these big games. Dynamite say he pissed with me. <laughs> yeah, I think we all I think we all are pissed. Jimmy G 16 for 25, 172 yards. One interception, no touchdowns. Dak Prescott, 23 of 43, 254. One touchdown, one interception, one rushing touchdown. What's funny about this is people are sitting there saying, oh, Jimmy G, I played that. How? How? Like, the 49ers outplayed the Cowboys. Facts. But Jimmy G outplayed Dak? It, it's just funny how everybody throws everything on Dak like the rest of the team wasn't playing. But we go get into that. Um, Elijah Mitchell, 27 carries, 96 yards, 
one touchdown. Debo Samuel, the, the beast, 10 carries, 72 yards, 7.2 average, one touchdown. Now let's get to the rushing game of the Cowboys. Zeke Elliott. I came across carries. this house with water Come dripping on, from uh, the ceiling. You Come on now, ESPN with the ads. Zeke Elliott, 12 carries, 31 yards, 2.6 average. <laughs> Dak Prescott, 4 carries, 27 yards, 6.8 average, 1 touchdown. This is the quarterback with the highest average. Anyway, I'm not even going to get mad because I'm trying to save my voice. I'm trying to save my voice. <laughs> Tony Pollard only got the ball four times, 3.5 average, 14 yards. <laughs> CeeDee Lamb, one carry. Who we – I don't know why we didn't use him like Debo. We did it earlier in the season. But for whatever reason, they didn't want to use – they didn't want to give the ball to Tony Pollard or CeeDee Lamb today uh, – yesterday for whatever reason. Tony Pollard, four carries, 14 yards. CeeDee Lamb, one carry, five yards. <laughs> All together, the Cowboys had 21 carries. It's 77 yards, 3.7 average. How you go win like that? But that's all Dak's fault, right? That's all Dak's fault. That the team can't run the ball. Let's let's compare these rushing stats. 38 for 169, two touchdowns, 4.4 average. 21, 77, 3.7 average, one touchdown. That touchdown came from Dak. But y'all, everything is Dak's fault on offense. They ain't been able to run the ball in the last eight weeks. But everything is Dak's fault, right? Shut up, bruh. We need a new OCO. We gonna get into that. Let's get into some. The Dallas receiving and the San Francisco 49ers receiving. Uh, 49ers had Brandon Ajuke, whatever his name is. This guy kept killing Diggs on double moves. Diggs was too aggressive yesterday. Uh, but, again, we already know that's how Diggs is. Diggs is going for the pick. It's either he get the pick or he get burnt. That's what it is with Diggs. And Diggs kept falling for the double move. So, uh, five catches, 66 yards. Uh, Debo with only three catches, 38 yards. But, again, again he had 72 yards rushing. Um, Jennings, always, all his catches came on third down plays. And they all on Jordan Lewis and um, Anthony Brown. Three catches, 29 yards, five targets. Kittle only had one catch. How do you hold George Kittle to one catch and you lose? <laughs> Debo, three catches. Kittle, one catch. And you lost. Let me, let me calm down because I want to keep my voice. <laughs> Dalton Schultz, seven catches, 89 yards. He was the best player on offense the whole game, the whole game. Amari Cooper, I don't remember him catching the ball six times, but six catches, 64 yards, one touchdown. Cedric Wilson, five catches, 62 yards. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, one catch, 21 yards. <laughs> now, nah, Discord ain't open right now. I might open it later, though. Um... Uh, Tony Pollard had two catches. Malik Turner had a catch. But this this is what we're this is what we're dealing with. Um defense. Michael Parsons and Leighton Van Der Esch are the only ones who came to play. 13 tackles from Van Der Esch. Parsons had 10. Um then KZ gave you eight, but those eight came after they got first downs. Curse gave you seven. Wilson gave you six, but they all came after they got first down. So shout out to the linebackers, man. Michael Parsons, Van Der Esch, balls. You got to give it to him on that. Got to give it to him on that. But this is this is my problem right here for the people that blame Dak for every single thing that happens. Yes, Dak is a reason, and he's a big reason that they did not win. But come on, bro. You got to help the man out. You got to help the man out. He hasn't had a rushing game in over eight weeks. That's been worth anything. The offensive line is trash. This is not the same 2016, 2015, 2014 offensive line. The the, the vets, Tyron Smith, is older. He's He got a lot of punishment on his body. 
Zach Martin is still all pro, Zach Martin, but when you got um, a whack center and a whack left guard on your left side and an inconsistent Collins, it's only so much Zach Martin can do. Like, Connor Williams is trash. He got to go. Tyler Biotis, whatever his name is, at center, he's trash. He got to go. And then Zeke come in after the game. Oh, I got a uh, what PCL, whatever he said, tearing his left knee, and he's been playing with it. Bro, we know you've been hurt. So why you didn't just sit down and rest before the playoffs like everybody was telling you to do? You just kept forcing yourself on the field. Let Tony Pollard get them reps. Like, you, everybody knew you was hurt. You was limping. And then, I, but, oh, I'm fine. Everything is good. Now when you lose in the playoffs, you want to tell us, oh, yeah, I did tear something, whatever, in my leg. Get out of here, bro. You should have rested. We didn't need to win those. Eh, anyway, I'm not going to get mad. I'm trying to save my voice. <sighs> Try to save my voice. Try to save my voice. <sighs> Zeke Elliott, 12 carries, 31 yards. How you going to have offense? How you going to run a good offense with that? When they know you can't run the ball. Everybody has been playing you for the pass. Everybody know, let's just focus on the, the passing game. Because they can't run the ball. They not going to give Tony Pollard the ball. He only got the ball four times. They not going to run the ball with C.D. Lamb. Because they not creative. They not sending nobody in motion. I, felt, I said it on the stream yesterday. I felt like I was watching Jason Garrett's offense yesterday. That's what I felt like I was watching. Kellen Moore turned into Jason Garrett 2.0. That's what I saw yesterday. And I said it on the, on the watch alone while we was watching the game on the stream. But it's all Dak's fault. Dak only. If you let the, if you let the people tell it, it's Dak only. Now, Dak is a big problem because it's a lot of throws he missed. He missed a lot of throws. Uh... I know at least three of them, clear as day, they was wide open. Overthrow, overthrow, overthrow. It's just, but it happens. Pat Mahomes missed a couple of people yesterday, and they blew them folks out. Um, Jimmy G missed some huge throws yesterday. That's the only reason we were still in the game anyway, because Jimmy G couldn't throw the ball. Get man down the mic, man. <laughs> Try not to, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to keep my voice. Ah, all right. But like, I have a problem. I don't have a problem with people putting Dak as part of the blame. He is the franchise quarterback. Definitely blame him. Definitely blame him. I'm not saying. I've never said don't blame Dak. In all my arguments on social media, I never said don't blame Dak. And it's never Dak's fault. I said keep that same energy across the board with everybody. Because it ain't just Dak. The whole offense was trash. CeeDee Lamb got locked up. One catch the whole game. Amari Cooper, whatever. He got his usual six catches. But when the last time Amari Cooper got over 100 yards? When is the last time he got over 100 yards? He's good for one touchdown. At about 50 to 60 yards. When is the last time? What up, Lizard? When the last time Amari Cooper got over 100 yards? And he's making 20 million a year. Like, Cedric Wilson has had better games than Cooper this year. He's our fourth receiver. So I'm not under I'm not understanding. When the last time Zeke had over 90 yards in a game? When the last time they gave Pollard a ball enough? to have over 100 yards in the game. So, yeah, this is on Dak, but Dak shouldn't have to throw the ball 43 times against the 49ers at home. He shouldn't have to throw the ball 43 times. But since he did and only connected on 23, that's trash, bro. You a franchise quarterback. He got sacked five times for 40 yards. Bosa didn't even play the second half. 
and he got sacked three times in the second half without Bosa. Come on, man. The O-line is... Listen, bro. Kellen Moore has to go. I'm with you, bro. But I'm just saying, we got to put... We got to keep that same energy with everybody. This is on Kellen Moore. This is on Dak. This is on Zeke. This is on the O-line. This is on the receivers. This is on Mike McCarthy because they... They can't stop getting flagged every time they make a play. And you couldn't even argue with a lot of them. Connor Williams was holding. Then a, I've never seen a defensive hold on a running play ever in my life. Bruh. Until yesterday. I've never seen that. And I'm like, how the hell do you hold? You get called for defensive holding on a running play. I've never seen that. That's coaching. They undisciplined. They've been like this the whole season. We lead the league in penalties for a reason. It's not always just the refs. Yeah, we had some bad games with refs. The Oakland game was bad both ways with the refs. NFL refs hate, I said Oakland, my bad, uh, the Vegas, the Raiders. The NFL seems to hate the Raiders and the Cowboys more than anybody. Because <laughs> they get the worst calls out of everybody. And when they played each other Thanksgiving, the refs were trash both ways. The Raiders managed to get past it. We couldn't. We got to – what's up, Mr. Box? We got to stop blaming the refs every time we lose. That's a losing mentality. For your coach and your quarterback and your star players to be like, oh, it's, it's the refs this, the refs that. You said it was the refs in the Cardinals game. Yeah, they missed the call, but you shouldn't even been in that um, situation anyway. Make the plays, you wouldn't have to leave it up to the refs. Period. Make the plays, you won't have to leave it up to the refs. You got all these stars, so-called stars, and all these weapons, and you can't do nothing with them. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I don't understand that, bro. Like, you... Man, all right. So, moving right along, we do this... We do this every season. I did it last year. Now it's time to do it again this year. Let's go over the Cowboy players who we are keeping and who we are cutting. This is the list right now for the uh, free agents. Dallas Cowboys. Let's go through the list. And we're going to decide who we keep or cut. And actually, let me play this before. Let me play this before we do this because this is funny to me. Country Wayne, a comedian, he's he's always posting, he's always posting these uh, Cowboys videos and everything. But like he he do it for comedy, but you can tell like it's a lot of realism in it. So let's watch his reaction from yesterday. Let me get this off the screen if I can find it. And then we'll get into who we keeping and who we cutting. But this is his reaction from yesterday. Let's try to lighten up the mood before we get to cutting and all that. So let's go. In 14 seconds, I'm gonna like this. Wayne. All right, chill, man. Chill, man. For real. Wow, everything, bro. Chill, man. Come on, man. Ain't nothing fault for folks. Just it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You don't even know the right. best. Oh. Come on, man. Go. Wait, wait, where you going, man? That where you going, Dad? Come on. Oh, get up, man. Come on. We can't afford to do that, man. Dad said, Hunt, man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Don't worry, that's it, bro. Take it. That's it, bro. Then I was stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all have a good year, man. We had y'all a good time. Yeah, man. Man, we make, man. God, oh, man. Hey, man. We down the ball, did he, man? No, man. Zero. That's it. That's over with, man. That one about to go. No, man. man. Like, come on. Man, hey man, hey man, for real though, hey man, on everything, bro. Y'all boy make too much money for that, man. <laughs> he mad for Every real year, now. The number one supporter team, man, that man, y'all ain't stars yet. Earn that. Like Emma Smith them did, man. You don't know that stuff. You ain't star. Until you a professional, you just a professional athlete. You're not a star yet. Preach. What up, bro? Preach. They got them got their commercials, man. God damn it, that junk ain't cool no more, man. That's too many years of that, bro. That's too many years of that, for real, man. 
Y'all man, ain't no support. Hey, hey man, y'all boys get too much support. The number one support the team, and I'm tired of seeing that face. Right. They don't lose it, man. God, go on, every year. Yeah, man, we knew that was man, the number one the team. I always move back with ticket. Man, money hard to come out. Y'all playing with people money. Exactly. Speaking of money, man. Speaking of money, man. Speaking of money. Man, right, man. Wait, <laughs> hey, man. 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 God, dog, man, this nigga, man, this nigga, man, what did he do, man? Why you threw the ball down? Hey, look, I just took the shoes off, bro, you push it. Let me get my money, bro, for you to your mind. Bro, everything, man. Why y'all be good this year, man? Y'all want y'all to be good? Hey, man, man, every year, man, this ain't cool, bro. People work too hard. Man, Cowboy fans support them boys more than any team, man. Y'all support it. You want to be stars too fast, and y'all ain't won. The Arizona Dion them earned that, man. Preach, preach, preach. Man, preach. you ain't stars. You ain't on. You just professional athletes. Preach. You're not superstars. Uh, All that. Uh, uh, ain't going nowhere, man. Ain't going <laughs> home, man. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I got. Hey, I'm good. I, I stay up. I got me some shows. Hey, I got me some shows. I'm good. Work hard, bro. People crying, man. People don't wear that hard money. One thing, hey, one thing about my fans, I never let y'all down. I stay up. Cop, man, for real, boy. I want, man, I want to call some names on the team, boy. I ain't going to do man. I don't want to hear. Man, don't nobody call my goddamn phone by nothing. Nothing. Man, yeah. man, get out, man. Hey, all right, we got my goddamn Bro. <laughs> he kicking them out. Bro, I'm leaving. What? What? You can't. I'm going to leave, bro. Man, this one coming in there to my car. Man, it's, it's snowing man, out. Man, I got to buy another road, man. This road costs money, man. Right out, bro. Hey. Man, man, get out my house, man. You know what I mean? Why you walk on my carpet? This man, 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 this, man, man, this, man, this, man, man, this coming five thousand dollars. Hey, Dude. bro, All right, man, man, you got that shoes, man, man, it is my house. Man, hey, it's man, 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 get out my house, get out my house, get out my house, just leave. Just leave, man. man. You got girl on my car. Let's take the time, right? You ain't man. All the games y'all want this shit, man. You can't get my money one time. Bro, you man. already owe me a little change, bro. Man, you rocked on my car. I gotta get my whole carpet clean, man. This car is five. This car is four thousand dollars, man. Man, come on, man. Man, move, man. The car is three thousand. Move. Man, I got them cowboys still, man. I love y'all, man. Man, I don't know, man. I got to talk. I'm, I'm finna go on some DMs right now, bro. Everything, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, man. So. <laughs> Good old country Wayne, man. That's that's a guy I follow all the time. <sighs> so let's try. Hopefully that lighten up the mood, and now I can get into the rest of this. <sighs> I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying not to be all mad and yelling and all that. My voice is half gone. I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. But. Getting back to that game yesterday, you're so stupid. Why would you call a freaking quarterback draw with 14 seconds left, midfield, no timeouts? Why? Why? And then you did it with the thought of, oh, we could get up and spike it. No, you can't. No, you can't. And then the whole, the, the fake punt that they did in the fourth quarter, it worked. Shout out to them for that working. And then you turned around, you turned around and left your punt team on the field for like 20 seconds. And everybody is confused, like, what the hell are you doing? Trying to be tricky. You left the punt team on the field. They standing there looking confused on first down. The 49ers just looking at you like, what is going Bruh. on? And they like, we got our defense on the field. So whatever y'all about to do, we go stop it. And then randomly, the offense runs back on the field, 15 seconds left. And then the ref stands in between the center and Dak and just stood there and then called delay a game. None of that should have happened. The reason the ref was able to stand there and have y'all looking stupid is because you was dumb enough to keep your punt team on the field after you got a first down. Instead of just running your offense back out there, 
and just playing football. You guys did the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was so, so many questionable calls from the coaching staff. Like, listen, I wasn't sold on Mike McCarthy then. I'm not sold on him now. Clock management, he's been trash. Getting this team ready to play in big games, he's been trash. You say cut near LV. Uh, he, he's been trash. Like, he's been trash. <sighs> Bro, this, like, it's frustrating. Because it's not about them losing. If they lost, they lost. Whatever. I said it on a couple of weeks ago. If they lose, they lose. Whatever. It's how you lose and how you look losing. Like, just stupid as hell, bro. Stupid as hell. You lose in the dumbest ways possible. You lose in the dumbest ways possible. And it's just like, what were you thinking? A QB draw in, in the middle of the field? No timeouts, 14 seconds left? What? You leave your punt team out after the fake punt on first down? What? Like, everybody's confused. This team don't have any clock management. Um, Dak is confused on stuff. Like, what is going on, man? So, Mike McCarthy, you on the hot seat, bro. He should be, at least. And honestly, let's promote Dan Quinn before he get up out of here. Promote Dan Quinn, let Mike McCarthy go. This ain't just this year with Mike McCarthy. Let's go back to last year where he decided to bring Mike Nolan as defense coordinator. <laughs> Trash. The worst defense in NFL history because Mike McCarthy wanted to bring his homie, Mike Nolan, and coach the defense. <laughs> Only reason we got Dan Quinn now, because it was forced up on him. He had to get rid of his homie or Jerry was going to fire him. And Jerry was like, you better find a defense coordinator that's worth it or you out of here. That's why Dan Quinn is here. Not because Mike McCarthy actually went out and recruited him. Nah, he wanted Mike Nolan. He thought that was a good idea. I'm, tell I'm, o I'm over McCarthy. I like him better than Garrett, but that's not saying much because Jason Garrett was trash. <laughs> So anyway, moving right along, man. Kellen Moore, you can go too, man. You go too. You overrated. Overrated. Said it early in the year. You overrated. Bye bye. You can go too. Now let's get to the list of free agents. Let's see who we keeping and who we are cutting. First off, we got Keanu Neal. He didn't play yesterday. He was hurt. He's a safety that's now moved into. A the linebacker position. Um, honestly, I bye. He could go. He could go. Um, Leighton Van Der Esch started off the season. Started off the season trash. Um, picked it up the last three games. Had a very good game yesterday. He's only 25 years old. Um, I will keep him only. I will keep him only. If he comes cheap, if he's trying to get a big linebacker contract, he could go. <laughs> what up, Dave? How you doing, man? Uh, Cedric Wilson, our fourth receiver, had a pretty good year. Way better year than anybody expected. He's only 26 years old. Uh, market value, you, you know, he might only cost you like two or three million dollars. So if that's the case, let's keep Cedric Wilson. Just, you know, keep him. Brent Urban, DN, really didn't play anything. Didn't play because he got hurt early in the season. Bye. Right tackle, Ty. I don't even know how to say your last name. Bye. Carlos Watkins, DN. Um, he's a, he's a decent backup, but um, did I see skipping? I, I, didn't, I didn't care for it. I watched a little bit of it. Um, Carlos Watkins, he's a decent backup. I mean, he ain't really worth nothing, so I guess he keep him from death, but he could go. Bye. Connor Williams, get out of here, bro. Bye. I'll give, give you another gunshot. 
You get two of them. Get another one, Connor Williams. Matter of fact, Connor Williams, get another one. Bye. Maurice Kennedy, a, a cornerback, had a good training camp. Never got on the field in the regular season. Bye. Demonte KZ, 28 years old. Um, he had an okay year, but uh, only if he comes back cheap. But if he don't want a cheap contract, bye. J. Ron Curse, I like Curse. I like Curse. He had a good year, but it depends on how much money he want. If he's trying to get, he said he's dead. <laughs> if he's trying to get starter starter money and top tier safety money, bye. I'm not falling for the the one year hype. I'm not falling for that, especially if we don't end up with Dan Quinn anyway. So bye. Um, Noah Brown, bye. Brian Anger. Uh, the punter, you better keep him. He killed it this year. Jake, the long snapper, whatever. Randy Gregory, you better keep him. You better keep him. Ain't no if, ands, or buts. Keep Randy Gregory. And what I will honestly do, since the Cowboys are about to be over the salary cap, they are currently $12 million over the next year's salary cap. I would trade Tank Lawrence in the offseason – and sign Randy Gregory. And we're going to get it to Tank Lawrence. But keep Randy Gregory, Tank Lawrence, bye. And I'm going to tell you why after this. Corey Clement, uh, you know, I like Corey. He's a good third running back. But we can find a third running back anywhere. So I'm not even going to shoot him. I, it's whatever. Malik Hooker, I want to keep this guy. 25 years old, keep him. He's cheap, keep him. Michael Gallup, this is this is a tough one because he did get injured twice, but he's 25 years old. He 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 shows that he can. It looks like he can be a star receiver, and with the injury, he might not cost much. So I'm keeping Michael Gallup if I can. I'm keeping Michael Gallup, and. Let's go ahead and get this out there. Uh, if he if he wants big time money, which he can't get, he can, like he's not gonna ever get Amari Cooper money right now, not after this season. But he's gonna get paid pretty good. Trade Amari Cooper, make Michael Gallup your receiver with C.D. Lamb, Cedric Wilson, and whoever else you pick up. Amari Cooper, I love him to death, but I'm gonna tell you why he gotta go. Malik Turner. Uh, it, it's I keep him as a backup. I guess I don't know. He's not gonna cost much money. Like he showed that he could play, but it, it's whatever with him. I'm not gonna shoot him or keep him. So whatever. Doris Armstrong, 24 years old. He's a s decent backup. Um, DN. So you know whatever. We'll keep him. I guess. Either or, I'm I'm fine with it. Dalton Schultz, you definitely better keep that guy. You definitely better keep him. That's, he's been your best offensive weapon the whole season. Keep Dalton Schultz, uh, 25 years old, pay that man. Francis Bernard, linebacker, bye. Luke Gifford, bye. Mitch Hyatt, bye. So that's who I'm keeping. That's who I'm getting rid of. Now let's get into this salary cap situation. This is the salary cap for next year. Let me see if y'all can see that on the screen. Yeah, it's on there. Bet. Dak Prescott, the star quarterback, he's going to hit you for $35, $34 million in the salary cap next year. Bruh. His contract alone, $34 million of the salary cap. Demarcus Lawrence, this is the reason I said I would let him go and re-sign Randy Gregory. Demarcus Lawrence is going to hit your cap for $27 million next year. This is for a guy that gets injured. He's guaranteed to miss some games. And he's good, but I don't think he's $27 million salary cap good anymore. Bye. Trade DeMarcus Lawrence in the offseason. Get some money back. And get free up some money so you can sign some of these other players. Amari Cooper, love him to death. But he hasn't been consistent enough to hit our salary cap for $22 million next year. 
Let them go. Bye. Bye. The goal when you when it comes to football and building a team is to get younger and to keep, you know, keep your young players and add to it. Michael Gallup is younger than Amari Cooper. CeeDee Lamb is younger than Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper did not have the best year. And he's going to cost $22 million on the cap? No. Trade him. <laughs> Zach Martin, $20 million on the cap. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott, $18 million on the cap. <laughs> you can't get rid of him because you can't trade him because nobody wants him for that money. And if you cut him, if you cut him, it's going to cost you $30 million. <laughs> So you're stuck with Zeke. Um, Tyron Smith, $17 million on the cap. <laughs> Lyell Collins. 15 million on the cap this year. You see what I'm saying? Blake Jarwin, 6 million on the cap. Anthony Brown, 6 million on the cap. Jordan Lewis, 4 million. <laughs> CeeDee Lamb is only 3 million. You see what I'm saying? So, my goal, if you're trying to build a team for next year and have salary cap space to actually get a team, um, Amari Cooper and Tank Lawrence need to be traded. <laughs> I'm sorry. The market value for Michael Gallup is only $11 million. I would trade Amari Cooper's contract and re-sign Gallup. Cedric Wilson is only $6.5 million. That's his market value. Bye, Amari. I got two players for less than one. Bye, Amari. Tony Pollard, you better, re- you better re-sign him. He's only $3.9 million on the cap. Connor Williams, $13 million on the cap? Playing like that? No. Bye. Dalton Schultz, 12 million, keep him. Keep him. And that's my list of who I'm keeping and who I'm firing. Dynamite J, you still trying to hop in the Discord or no? Let me know before I end this stream. Because if you're trying to hop in, I will open the Discord and you can let me know who you keep and who you firing. I'll give you a little time to respond because I know the stream is a little bit. Bet. Hold on. Let me find Discord. I'll open it up. <sighs> if it acts right. You can help me save my voice for the day. Oh, no. I got you, Lizard. Uh, it's going to be Wednesday, though, when I get it to you. Yeah, I didn't forget. It's going to be Wednesday. Where is my Discord? I got to I got to do you like WWE 2K. Wait a couple more days, bro. <laughs> but I I get it to you. you. You know you already know. Uh let me get this cord real quick. Give me one second. All right, Dynamite. This cord is open. I am in here. Come on in. Let me know who you keeping and who you cutting. And if I need to pull up the list again so you can see all the players, or if I need to scroll up and down, let me know. Hello? You can hear me. What's good? Down to Mike J. Yo, what up? What up? What up? Basically, everybody you said, I'll fuck around and keep and uh, cut. But, uh, yeah, Kellen Moore got to go, yo. Fact. You mean to fucking tell me? You mean to fucking tell me? We was killing San Fran with Paula. Paula damn near averaged almost five yards a carry. Damn near. When? You ran that four times. Oh, you talking about uh, yesterday? Yeah, you ran that bitch four times. Oh, no, Paula, Paula only averaged three point five a carry. Oh, three point. Well, almost four. But, but shit, he it. definitely should have got the ball more. I agree with you. Yeah, there. cause look. Even, even, I right, so you remember when we had the ball with like four seconds, I mean, four minutes left, right? Right. And we knocked down by like two of those minutes. We just knocked them shits down. Yeah. Why not keep, why not run all of What you gotta do is just toss that motherfucker. Get a couple yards. If you want to run the clock out, go ahead and do that. You can, we, we could have scored and left like what? 40 seconds left? Bro. Cause they was going to use them timeouts. Look. They didn't call no screen plays. Did you see any screen plays yesterday? Hell no. No, probably like one or two. Did but... you see 
any reverse or anybody going in motion no. or no. anything like that. Hell no. I'm like, bruh, like we literally could have did everything, everything Kyle Shanahan been doing. Like we literally can do that. Like we literally can do reverse strings. Shit. That four and fourth and eleven, I probably would have called the screen fucking with that shit. Cause you knew they were gonna see that heat. You knew they was gonna bring the heat. Bruh. Oh, it's... even third and eleven, you could have did that shit. When they was bringing the heat. <laughs> I, mean, you... I, I don't remember seeing the screen at all. I, I didn't see You didn't? It. I didn't see it. I don't if you saw I feel it. Like I, I seen didn't... one. I feel like I saw one. I think I saw one. That was like in the around like the second quarter or something like that. The C D. I ain't see nobody go in motion to to start off a play. I didn't see none of that. All that stuff they was doing at the beginning of the year, uh, Connor McGovern in the background, them doing CD Lamb oh in the background. God. I didn't see Yo. none of that. He went straight into listen. Jason Garrett two point mode yesterday. Hey, listen, listen. Every time I watch like the first half, I'm like, yo. Like, and, and that's what people fail to realize. We literally could kill teams. Like, they not fucking with us. Only reason why we be losing is because we always do the dumbest shit, just like the penalties. Like we do the dumbest shit with the penalties. It's like how, how you how you expect us to be a championship team when we got some of the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. Right. If it was me, I I wouldn't even fire Mike McCarthy, but I would move him. Move see see how he'll do if he was a a OC. See how he'll he'll do if he was a if he was actually our coordinator. He ain't gonna stay for the OC. What? Uh, they gotta find a way to keep Dan Quinn, pay him, shoot him all the money to keep him on defense. If you keep Mike oh, no, McCarthy, Dan Quinn. if you keep Mike McCarthy, you gotta let you gotta bring in another offense coordinator. Kellen Moore ain't it. It's not gonna work no more with Kellen Moore. We we had our uh, years yeah, with bro, him. I, it's it's done. He gotta go. Right. He that gotta shit, go. Bro. That shit. I, I don't know good. who's. Bro, I don't know who works. Him or fucking Scott Linehan, bro. I don't know who works, bro. Man. No, it's still Scott. No, it's still, yeah, yeah, it's still Linehan. Scott. Yeah. No, it's still Scott. Because he ain't never run no screen. He ain't never run no screen plays at all. It's... But see, it, it, it's, it's just mind-blowing to me because it's like, ain't no fucking way in hell Tony Pollard should want to have four, four carries. Four in carries. The, in the, what, second half? Four carries total. Oh, the whole... <laughs> it was the whole damn. It was the whole game. The whole game. He had four carries total, and like again, everybody that that likes to just blame Dak only. It was a dude, one of my homies on Facebook all day. Run the ball. Stop giving the ball to Dak. You can't run the ball. That's the point. That's why Dak had to do throw the ball forty three times because you couldn't run it. But he don't need that. He don't even need to do that. That's that's the whole problem. The only reason why he's doing that. It's because he want to prove to people that oh, without the running game, I can win the game. Fuck all, man. No, he you know, he listen. had to, cause you you can't run. Twenty one carries for seventy seven yards as a team, and Dak and, and that's had crazy. the best running average and a touchdown. And that, bro, and that's crazy. I'm like, bro, just keep running, Paula, bro. He he literally can eat them yards up. Bro, they could have five seen. yards. That's what? They, man, we could have ran them all. Shit, we could have ran anybody. Anybody on that team got speed on them. All you need is just one good ass block. That's why watching somebody like the 49ers or watching somebody like Buffalo, that's why I like watching, and, and hell, even Tennessee, watching people like them. If you think about it, Tennessee, them motherfuckers stay running the ball. Even when, when shit don't even feel like it works, they still running that bitch. I mean, that's the 49ers. They go running down your throat. That's what I'm saying. But and even they have a good, they have a good left guard and a good center. We don't. Yeah, we don't. They, but our even guys then, are trash. even <laughs> then, they only scored what they scored what seven points in the second half. Like they wasn't even they did enough, but they didn't do a whole lot in the second half. Yeah, we could have we could have won that game. I'm just like Jimmy. We caught the pick. We scored. They basically gave the ball away a fucking game. Bruh. It's like, what was y'all thinking? We had the ball down six with two minutes left and all our timeouts. It was no excuses. It was, That's it what was I'm no saying. excuses. Like I'm like that, but again, I'm I'm the type I don't just blame Dak like everybody else doing. Everybody else is just blaming Dak. Yes, Dak needs to get blamed, but I'm blaming play calling. I'm blaming the lack of run game. I'm blaming old line. I'm blaming the receivers not getting open. And then when they did get open, Abari Cooper on third and five. 
shorthanded one of his catches and dropped it because he was scared to get hit. C.D. Lamb, who's guaranteed to drop a big catch a game, he dropped the big one. So it's like it got to go around to everybody. It's it's Dak and everybody else. It ain't just Dak. It's everybody else. Only person they can't yeah, get oh, blamed no, no, no. is Tony Dak, Pollard no. and Dalton Schultz. Everybody else I don't can get blame blamed. Dak. Like I, I really don't blame Dak. Like I blame for real me personally. I blame Kellen Moore because I'm like, bro, we it's two minutes. We got two minutes. Nah, you all you our gotta, timeouts. You got to put blame Bruh. on Dak, too. Dak got to get blamed because Dak can call out of some of that stuff. And a lot of stuff, he just ran anyway. Yeah, and, and I promise so. you, if I was his position right now, if I was in his same position and with them, within them two minutes, oh, I'd say, man, fuck the offense coordinator. I'm ready to call these <laughs> plays. Bruh, I would have did toss, <laughs> did, some, did a bunch of crazy shit, yo. Like, I, I would have had motherfuckers doing some shit. They ain't even thought we was practicing. But that's that. just me, like... You you gotta do that sometime. That's the whole thing with that. That need to be more like a rebel. Like he need to be somebody like how Aaron Rodgers. You ain't a motherfucker like Aaron Rodgers gonna do that dumb shit. Hell no. Right. Ain't no right. Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, oh people like them. They not doing that shit. That's what I wish for Dak. I wish Dak had that mindset. Like bro, if you know something that gonna work, cause all you have to do is see that formation. You know something ain't gonna work. My, my mindset is, if you Mike McCarthy, why why are you allowing this dumb crap to happen? Why are you allowing a uh, quarterback draw with 14 seconds left with no timeout? Oh, why are you allowing? Threw. Why are you allowing your team, your punt team, to stay on the field on first down after you converted a fake punt? Like, why are you letting that happen? Why you didn't just say get off the field now? And How many seconds left with that one? How many seconds was left with that one? What, with the punt? Yeah. That was at that the was beginning like... of the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I it was, was like... I don't know what they were doing. I, I can't figure that one out to save my life. But why would you even allow that to happen as a head coach? If you got Randy Gregory holding and Connor Williams holding... He, never, uh, he didn't even have to do that. That's the crazy shit. Gregory ain't even had to do that because we already got to stop. I'm like, bro, what did, what was you doing? What was you thinking? We was all we already had to stop. Like, what what was you doing throwing that man like that? I've never seen defensive holding on a running play ever in my life. I was like, this gotta be the most that the BS <laughs> ever. <laughs> Cause was that the J when we had like four, it was like third, it was like third and something? It was like third and long. It was down there. It was there third always and long. third down. Every time. Every time it was third down. And, and then it's like sometimes, <laughs> well, and then the main reason why we don't shut them down like that is because we start doing dumb shit. It's like, why would you do a neutral zone infraction? Bruh. It's like, come on, bro. Y'all, y'all know how they, y'all look at the film. Like, you already know what they're going to do. The fuck the is you doing, bro? You got to be, when you playing a team like that, bro. You gotta watch out for everything. You gotta be patient. Yo. You can't be too quick with that shit because you be too quick. That's when they gonna get your ass. That's my whole problem. I'm just like the team is undisciplined, bro, and that that falls on coaching. It's been like this all year when it comes to clock management, when it comes to uh, penalties, and ready to play in big games. They're never ready to bro, play in the first half of a big game. They always go oh, into the fourth quarter. Bro, I knew to set it I up. knew for a fact I knew for a fact they wasn't ready when San Fran came out hype because I forgot somebody else said this shit when uh, San Fran came out hype and shit right and then Dallas came out a little nervous and all that I already know I said yeah we we fucked up now they never and ready. it's like it's like they punched us in the mouth in the first in the first half first and then drive. we start yeah like but at the at the second at the second half we was like alright and then we started punching back and then at first we was kind of going at it and then all of a sudden we got smacked in the mouth one more time How many and it's times? like it's crazy because they did not score if it wasn't for that interception they would have never scored that whole second half because we did just enough for them to either kick a field goal or actually get a stop but because that fucked around through that pick Instead of taking the easier route and throwing it to the running back, right? You trying to throw it while on the people. You know all the people coming up the middle. They not covering up the end. They coming up the middle. So you have somebody wide open on the side, 
and he could get and whoever that was on the side, you could have threw it at them. They would have got us a couple yards. Yeah, he um, you, he he forced that throw that Josh Norman got that pick because Paula was. That's what I'm open. saying. And my thing with that, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna come down on him because, like I said, it's his fault too. But uh, the way he came, the season he had after coming back after that injury and got hurt in the off season and got hurt mid season, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna be that hard on him. I'm gonna see what he do next year before I really like come down on Dak, like the way everybody yeah. else is doing. Cause I'm like, yeah. that's a lot to come back from, and I think he had a, a pretty solid year. He just didn't, they just did not step up. In the bigger games until it was too late, and I said it on the stream like at least five times, where everybody was like, "Oh man, Dallas might come back." I was like, "No, it's gonna be they go suck first half, they go make a comeback in the fourth quarter, and they go run out of time." And that's exactly what happened because we've seen it all year. They did it against Oakland, they did it against the Cardinals, they did it against well the Chiefs. They just they just lost. And oh, they, they did it against, just got ass, against Tampa. Like it's. They just run out of time every time. They wait till it's too late to open up the playbook and actually start doing stuff. But you run a, that that QB sneak, that QB draw, <laughs> when you had three plays that went over 40 yards passing the ball and you got out of bounds all three plays before that. I just don't understand that, bro. I, that, I don't understand I, I guess that they feel like I guess they felt like, oh, because they covered up the sidelines. They was covering up the like, sidelines the first three plays and you still got 40 yards and went out of bounds. <laughs> And, like, look, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, you could have threw you could have threw an easy little pass. Let whoever he's throwing to get a couple little couple yards, go out of bounds. You would have had at least one or two shots. You probably would have had a shot or two in the end zone. No suit. It's like who would have lost it? Huh? Hold on, let me ask this quick. No suit. They can't move on from um Zeke because of his contract. And I'm I'm about to show you real quick. I said it earlier, uh, why they can't move on from Zeke. Zeke Elliott is making – he's going to count $18 million against the cap next season. If they oh, – nobody's going to trade for him because nobody wants that contract, especially the way he's been playing. If they cut him, they're going to lose $30 million in the cap. So you're stuck with Zeke. You, you can't – Yeah. nobody's going to trade for him and you can't cut him because it's going to kill you in the salary cap. Just like hey. Jalen Smith – uh, we let him go way too late. We should have cut him during the preseason, and it would have saved us six million this year and four million next year. But they wanted yeah. to play him, and now we, you know, that's what it is. So you stuck with Zeke, bro. You yeah, just gotta like, hope I, he get healthy and come back to his old self. It's not even like that part. Don't even like that quarterback sneak shit blew my mind too. But what really blew my mind was. Why the fuck did you let it get to like fourth and eleven or third and eleven? Hey, you haven't run Tony Paula not one time, bro. Not one time, bro. Play calling, bro. I'm like, how the fuck? Was it first and fifteen? Was that the one when it's like first and fifteen? Because it was somehow we got it to like it was like third and eleven. No, we got a false start. That's what it was. It was a fucking false start. Right. That's what. That's what it was. That's right. what I remember it was. It was a false start. It was like third down. It was like third and five or third and six or something like that. And then we fucked around and got a false start. I said, oh, my God. But that literally, literally, that's what everybody been saying. Them penalties kill us. It's like, what the fuck was the 49ers doing to make you jump that early? That's on coaching, bro. They undisciplined. They've been like that all season. All season. But, but, but what made – was they that scared of the 49ers? For them to jump that fucking every time you turn around they jump back. Hey, they went eighty yards on us first drive, so they might have been scared of them. Like first drive like, of the game, they did not have not one third down the whole drive. They just marched up the field on us from the opening drive. So yeah, maybe they were nervous. <laughs> maybe they did feel like they that, gotta that. get off the ball because they got destroyed the first drive. Matter of fact, they scored on a first. Three or four, because I think it was a touchdown and three field goals. I want to say. Yeah, they scored. Yeah, they scored sixteen, sixteen all together. So and, yeah, and that's all drive, in the first they half. Scored. That's all in the first half. Every drive they was, scored. So yeah, and then even before halftime, before halftime, we could have had three. We would have had three or or even we could have scored that. 
it's like, what was your what was y'all thinking? Like, how y'all keep having these false starts? Like, you can't keep doing that. That's that's typical that's why when I, man. That's why I say when I was watching that Buffalo game and how, how fucking dominant they was looking, if it was me, like I said, if I was a coach, we would all watch that game. We would all have been watching that game. Like, yo, this is what we need y'all to be, yo. Because I don't even think none of them had a penalty that that whole game. I ain't mistaken. I don't think none of them had a penalty for real. I don't think I seen a holding call or none of that. That's how you're supposed to be. That's how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be that disciplined. Yeah, you that's... can't sit up there and be that fucking scared and then every time you turn around, you fall start or holding. It's like, bro, all you need to do is get that a couple seconds. Just give him a couple seconds. And let him scan that field. Don't fucking keep holding the person. He got to scan that field a little better too, though. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like he, him he too. Gotta like scan he got better too, because he ain't. He's not. Yeah. He's missing some people. Uh, that's that's open now. It's one play in particular that really pissed me off about mm-hmm. Kellen Moore. I posted the screenshot on Facebook. I'm gonna post it on Twitter too. Um, after this, but it's a it's a play that they designed. That had Connor Williams, I'm sorry, Connor McGovern, number 66, and mm-hmm. and uh, Terrence Steele, the backup uh-huh. right tackle, as wide receivers. Oh shit! <laughs> as wide receivers, <laughs> and I'm like, a lot of people didn't notice this yesterday, but I got a screenshot of it. Like, these are the type of plays we were calling, where our offensive linemen, we got two offensive linemen. In the middle of the field, waiting on the ball like they wide receivers. So I'm gonna post that screenshot of that play. I'm like, it's Kellen Moore by. Hold on, hold on. Um, who else? Uh, I want to keep Dan Quinn. I already gave you my free agent list and all that. But before we yeah. go, let's do our predictions. What What's your prediction on the nice game between the Cardinals and the Rams? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a fuck with the Rams. I like the Rams. I, I like, I fuck with Jalen Ramsey. I fuck with Donald. I feel like they got the chance to do something. But Matthew Stafford can't throw no pick sixes. He, he can't, he can't do what he did last game. He, he got to if you get the Matthew Stafford from like the first six, seven weeks, oh, they could do some damage. But if, if he can't, they're gonna fuck around and lose. But I got the Rams. What about you? I think I got the Rams too, man. They they a little pissed off off of last week. What happened to them last week versus the 49ers blowing that lead at home. Um, so yeah, I got the Rams too. I think they are I think they have more weapons. There's no DeAndre Hopkins for the Cardinals. Yeah. Um you got Odell and Cooper Cup and all them. You got Cam Makers back. And then I mean Aaron Donald and Von Miller on the same line and Linda Floyd, Jalen Ramsey. Ooh. At home, I'm going. I'm going mm. for the Rams. Mm-mm. So that's my prediction for the night. Oh, what's funny is on the top of the screen. I'm on ESPN.com right now. If you can see on the screen, and at the top they got an ad up for MLO. So shout out to MLO Shoes one more time. MLO Clothing for sponsoring. I might as well give them another plug in since they popping up on my screen on the ESPN website. So shout out to MLO. Yo. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, Lizzie just put the link yeah. in there too. And you get a, yeah. uh, I believe it's a 30, yeah, it is 30% discount. So, it's, man, I'm telling you, I'm waiting no mine to come in. So, you'll get a <laughs> YouTube video of that pretty soon as well, man. Oh, yeah, you definitely, I definitely got you getting it. I ain't, ain't worried about you. I know you're going to get that shit. So, we, we doing, yeah. uh, we doing it, man. But shout out to you for coming through, brother. Yeah. You as well for having me, brother. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to get, get up out of here because I'm going to try to save my voice so possibly so I could possibly stream later on tonight or later on today. Right. Oh, you? Oh, we watching. We watching. Uh, what we doing? The uh, Monday night watch along? Or are you going to do the... Um... You know what? I don't know yet. But I know I want to go back over like some YouTube stuff that we was doing the other day. Okay. And then like some more video games and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to mix it in a day. I'm going to try to mix it in a day. Uh, we might do it in my days. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let y'all know. We'll we'll figure it out. It's so much that you uh, try to get in at one time, and it's like, you know, that's why you got to take it. That's why you got to kind of take it like one step at a time. Yeah. But I, All right, man. I probably won't do the Monday Night Raw. We'll probably do some other stuff. <laughs> yeah, you can do like mad, play mad, and uh, do whatever. Man, I don't even because I feel like freaking football <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, bro. Trust. Hey, look, look, look. I know, bro. I know, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm mad disappointed too. But it's all good, man. Hopefully, hopefully we can do something. Every year, bro. Every year. Every every year, like how? <laughs> Every year, Hell. bro. That's why I you heard 20... no Super Bowl talk from me because I already knew. I, whatever. Oh no, you don't never. Hey, listen. Mm-hmm. I told my friends that shit too. I said, I said, I, the only way you gonna hear me talk about the Super Bowl if we're in an NFC Championship and we up like ten points, with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Then that's why I'd be like, oh, I ain't know I'm gonna make it. Other than that, I don't talk about this shit. The only thing you hear me say is we gonna make the playoffs, but I don't say nothing about no we gonna make the championship. Yeah. I don't need to talk about that. Like, how? That's because um, every time you get in a big game, you always fucking up. Yeah. Our best chance was in 2016. You want to be honest. Our best, our best chance was 2016. But it was depending on how the way Atlanta was looking, though. I don't know. Oh, no. Nah, we we would have won if we got past. Yeah, because we kept running. Because all we had to do, see, that, that offense right there, I loved it because we just kept run- they knew we, what we was going to do. We won't keep running that bitch down your throat. Right. Now we becoming a pad type of team. Now look at us. Well, we have to. We can't run. That's the problem. I know because we can't fucking block. <laughs> so we can't block, and then every time, and then we don't even got no. And then you keep running up the middle. Like, why is you keep running up the middle, bruh? Yes. I. I just, yeah, man, Keller Moore got to go, I'm yo. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm I'm good, yo. I holla at you. I holla at you, man. Appreciate you coming through, bro. All right, yo. That's Dynamite J in the building. Coming through the Discord, letting them vent about the Cowboys, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. <laughs> Shout out to MLO Shoes. Shout out to, hold on, let me get back to my regular screen, man. Shout out to MLO Shoes. Shout out to Team Xbox. Shout out to Rogue Energy. Shout out to Voice Mod. Again, man, you got to check out Voice Mod. You can do a whole bunch of stuff, man. I'm just sad. Just add flavor. You get a whole bunch of free sounds, but you can also do a monthly subscription that's real cheap. And you can use my promo code DOPEHEADS for discounts. You know, you want to get your Kanye West on, you know. Woo! Or you want to talk. Like a little baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Huh? And then you got, you know, all this other stuff. These are the free sounds that I'm doing right now. Free sound. Free. 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 You know what I'm saying? These are the free. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff you can do with Voice Mod, man. If you want, if you you're the type to edit videos, get on YouTube, and yada yada, man. So you know, it is what it is. So shout out to these, to the people showing love, man, to the brands, and much love to y'all. And ho- hopefully, I'll see y'all sometime again today. Uh, we might go back over some like other creators like on YouTube that we was watching Big Job when the whole crew was stupid because they got a new video out with that. Uh, Supreme Dreams, Mark and them. And then we got some other creators we can check out too, man. Uh, you know, just add some different flavor to the stream. Like I said, I, I'm not going to be put in that that category. Oh, he's a wrestling streamer or he's a sports streamer or he's a... Madden streamer. Nah, buddy. I, it's dope content for a reason. I do a lot. I do it all. Uh, yeah, we do it all. And shoot, I haven't even, even posted like me playing drums. I got plenty of videos of me on stage. I ain't even done none of that. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot to get into, man. Um, Make sure you check out dopecontent.com. It will be updated. 
as things come along. I need to update it now because it's one video that's not on there that should be on there. And I don't know what happened to it, but I'm going to update that in a minute. Um, much love to y'all. And this will be on YouTube, so make sure you follow the YouTube as well. And I'm going to raid Ty, man, because he, he came through. It's been a while. He's an upcoming streamer, man. So let's send some type of love his way. And, um, you know, just say hi. Follow him if you're not following. Just show him a little love, man, and we're going to do that. But until the meantime, I'm out.